we're gonna monkey with something on the 928 again. So I have a new clutch for the cooling fan on there, but with as hot as it's been here lately, which is as mirrors makes no difference a hundred degrees most of the time. If you get stuck in traffic, and the car's not overheating, but it's getting warmer than I'd like it to get. So in later years of these cars, they went to electric fans. And it turns out that a fan from a contour will fit the radiator almost perfectly. So I've got this one here and I've started stripping down the extra wiring that's not needed from it for some ambient temp sensor. I was debating wiring these things in parallel, or I mean in series, for the low speed to eliminate that resistor. And thinking about it more if, you know, one fan dies, you lose both of them on the low speed at least. And you have to have a couple extra relays then to switch it over to run them both at 12 volts. So I think I'm going to scrap that and just run it with the resistor. Especially since all that wiring's in place on it already. And then I just need to switch, you know, two relays, 12 volt to one, 12 volt to the other. And that should take care of that today. Might actually just wire it up on the high speed only. We'll just have to see how that'll, that'll work out. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and get the shrouding and everything off for this fan to start with. And see how things are going to fit and see what we need to do to mount it and go from there. Okay, so we've got quite a bit more room here and actually can lift out this bottom part of the shroud. Probably don't need that anymore. So one thing that's annoying is we do have to keep part of the fan bracket at least. We might go take apart the one on one of the parts cars anyway, because the throttle bracket mounts to it, and I really don't feel like coming up with something different for that. So I guess now we'll try to mock up the uh, new fan and see what we're going to need to do to get it all in place. Okay, so so far initial impressions are good. Only modifications to the fan so far have been cutting off the uh, mounting tabs that were on the sides. I'm even letting it use that little plastic bit to hang there right now. It's not quite able to latch in. There's no lip on the bottom to hang in the little hangers for the stock fan shroud. But I think it can make some little metal tabs on the bottom. And then the only other thing I have to do is put a little nick in it there to get around the, or over that little um, <coughs> tab for the top part of the shroud. And then I think it'll sit in there nice and then just got to figure out you know, probably a little tab here and here to catch these bolt holes for the top prior to the old shroud and do something similar at the bottom. Okay, so I took a few minutes to go wash off this fan and everything just so we weren't dealing with something as dirty. But gone ahead and I just put two little metal tabs on the bottom of it that'll let it catch the little uh, standoffs down there that the old original shroud sits in. And for now I'm going to try just this top hook and see how this works. But I should be able to lower it down and I might have to set the camera down and use two hands so I don't screw this up. Well, that is on there pretty good. So, those tabs are holding it at the bottom. Right here's holding it at top, or at the top. And then I took a spare one of the shrouds and trimmed the shroud part off it. So I just have the ear dam parts, so I'll go grab that in a second. But that'll go across the top here and that'll hold this down. Just have to put one little notch in it to clear that. But I think that's going to fit pretty good. So I guess pull it out again and get the wiring situated on it. I think I'm just going to use the... Honestly, I think I'm just going to wire it up for the high speed right now because otherwise I need to find a switched ignition 12 volt source to power the 
relay to let the temperature switch in the radiator turn it on. So I bought a new one with two temperatures so I could set it up for high and low. But I think to start with, take that switch and put it in and wire it up to the low temp because I think this one's way too hot anyway, especially since it's on the outlet of the radiator. If I don't want the coolant to be a whole lot over 180 and the water coming out of here is, you know, say 180 already, it's going to be 160 or so coming out of the radiator, which is what that temp switch is kind of see. Okay, so we've got fan wired and put in. Looks <clears throat> like there's a lot going on here, but really all it is is t I put two relays here and two circuit breakers. The ones for the low speed I just sort of tied there out of the way. They're not connected. The relay and everything's hooked up, but there's no trigger to it and the power is not hooked up to that breaker. I only have the high side hooked up right now and it's just coming over here for the moment to the stock auxiliary fan wiring. So the AC gets hot, it'll turn it on. If the radiator gets hot, it'll turn it on, so I still need to switch that switch. And if the intake manifold gets hot, it'll turn it on. And at the moment, I'll go ahead and jump the intake manifold temperature sensor because it's convenient to get to. There. And they're on and feels like they definitely move a lot more air than you'd get at idle with the um, mechanical fan, but let's get some data. So before it was getting like one and a half meters per second most of the way across there. It's three meters per second airspeed. Two and a half. And about one and three quarter. And I just about double the airflow at idle. And keep in mind this is with the battery, you know, just battery voltage. The car is not on right now. So, should be a little faster in the motors running. Go ahead and get the rest of everything else put back on here. I have... I took the shroud off of the parts car <coughs> and cut it. And granted, there was some damage there already from that car apparently having the fan hit it. I just thought about putting a solid panel in here, but for now it'll be fine. But So that'll sit there. I'm not going to pull it all the way down right now, but you get the point. It'll Unless you like stick your head completely down in here, it's not going to look like anything's done to it. So this is where I was planning to tell you about how great it worked whenever I went for a drive, which it did, up until the point where the lower radiator hose that was getting pushed outward by it rubbed the alternator pulley and put a hole in the radiator hose. <coughs> so until that, it worked great. The radiator hose sits pretty close to the alternator pulley as it is. I forgot to tie it out of the way, like there's a tie point on the original shroud, so that's why it hit. So anyway, it turns out the S4 radiator hose fits really well there, and surprise, surprise, the S4 has electric fans, so maybe it was routed a little different to stay out of that way. So when I had the fan back out, I went ahead and cleaned up the wiring a little bit by mounting the relays and the circuit breakers a little better. Also made little tabs to hold the top of the fan where the original shroud was held. And with everything in there and the top part of the air dam left from the original shroud, it looks pretty tidy, I think.